Oh God. Just notice myself in the viewfinder and I look a fucking state. <laughs> Oh yeah, yummy! Hey B, it's Fanny Ann here and welcome to a makeup tutorial. Now I look like I've been smoking a load of weed. I haven't. I've taken off old mascara from my eyes because I'm a skank and I wear it days on end. I know you shouldn't, but I do. So I've taken the old mascara off because today we're doing a makeup tutorial. Oh, I'm so excited! We're gonna do a get ready with me with Fanny Ann. I've never done one of these before, really, but I love makeup. My sister taught me how to do makeup. I watched her growing up as a kid, uh, and I also learned quite a few bits off YouTube as well, different tips off YouTube. But my sister's the main one who taught me to do makeup, and I love doing makeup. It's actually like art to me. Like, I enjoy putting on a full face and seeing what I can create on this monstrosity. I have a really itchy eye because I took my mascara off and I feel like all my eyelashes have fallen into my eye. Ugh. Now, usually, I use an Alice band to pull my hair back, but I don't have any at the moment. I my last one broke and I haven't bought any one. So we're using a hat today, my little alien hat. So the first thing I do, pull my hair back and I tuck my piercing up because I don't want to get foundation all over this because you look like an idiot. So we just tuck that right up. We're in, we're tucked up. Now, the first thing I do with actual makeup is a primer. Now, I use this stop that I'm dropping shit I used to use this magical morninger moringa uh, lush primer I don't know if you can see that um, and it's good it's a good primer don't get me wrong but I've, I've got this one recently and I, I prefer this one this is the Stila Aqua Glow let's go to focus yeah there we go Stila Aqua Glow now this one's really nice like it smells like it's like minty and it's really cool. Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold in skin. It feels like I'm being licked by Olaf from Frozen. I, I love it. In summer. Primer's rubbed in, primer set. Has that nice little chucky feeling you kind of like to get with primer. So that's the first thing we do, is we prime the skin. And I haven't damped my sponge, so BRB. <laughs> No! Oh my god. Okay, so once you've damped your beauty blender, um, it's foundation time. Now, at the moment, I'm using this infallible, infallible, I don't know if that's the right word for you, but it's the one I'm using. This is a L'Oreal Paris uh, Stay Fresh Foundation 24 Hour Fights Makeup Meltdown. Now, it's been okay. It's been okay so far. I do have other foundations. I have this MAC one that I don't really use that much, to be fair. Um, because it hasn't got a pump. I remember going to the shop and being like, this is my shade, can I have a pump? And she went, we don't have a pump at the moment, but I can give you a different shade. And I was like, why the fuck would I want a different shade? What, what? Aren't you a makeup expert? What are you talking about? I was like, no, I'll have my shade, but I'll have it in a, in a shit bottle. So that's why I don't use it that much, because I just can't be bothered, because I just can't be asked. So, what we do, this is how I do it, by the way. And obviously everyone does it differently, but me. I get my foundation and I splodge, 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 like that. <laughs> and I get the excess off with the sponge, wipe it off, and then we dab it in. <laughs> we dab it right in. Now there's no like correct way of applying foundation. You can do it however the fuck you want. Um, I used to use uh, a brush, but I have not used a brush in a really long time because I feel like a brush doesn't, you just don't get what you want with a brush. It, it goes streaky. I feel like a beauty blender really does what it says on the tin and blends it in really well. Now don't forget the ears. Mine are a bit covered by the hat. Don't forget the ears or like the neck because no one wants the line that comes here. No one wants that fucking line. You look like a f damn fool. Okay, so now we've got our base on, we're gonna conceal. Now, before I do concealer, I use this. I don't know where it is, but I use this thing here. This is, I think, yeah, Maybelline. Uh, now, you can get concealers of this, and I picked up the wrong one. This is not a concealer. This is an anti age eye eraser. Now, I don't have any like, wrinkles. I'm fucking 26. <laughs> I'm not 30 yet, but I'm not 20 anymore. But this thing works really well. So basically, I use it just for kind of this, just panda area because. Sometimes I get dark circles there, and it's like a yellowy tinge to it, so it kind of like diffuses the, the grey blueness that is my underbags. So I put that shit on, I dab it, I dab it in with a little sponge. The sponge that is not as soft as it looks actually is quite hard. <laughs> so I dab that all in, as you can see, a little bit of cutting, and I get my beauty blender back and I just press it into the skin. So it kind of just 
covers up those unsightly bags, which no one wants to have. The only bags I want are shopping bags. Okay, so we we'll do that. Got that, and then I have loads of concealers. I have like three different concealers. I have the tart tape shape one, and it's like run out. Can you see that I've scraped it? I've scraped it to the point of no return because I love it, and it's run out. I'm really annoyed. Uh, I have this little collection, Last Imperfection one, which is my quick one that I use when I'm just like going out somewhere. So that's got a wand. So I'm just like blah 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 blah. Um, but it's not as like bright as I want it to be. Now sometimes if I have like a concealer that isn't that bright. I will use my white foundation with it, which is literally like goth foundation. I think I got it off like Hot Topic off their website. I think, I can't remember. But I got it a long time ago and I basically, it's so weird looking, it's got like a little paddle. And I just kind of, I, I'll use concealer that isn't that, that's kind of my same skin color and then I'll put white of it and then I'll kind of blend it all together. But I found this, which is Dermacol, which is I think is a foundation, but I'm using it as a concealer because it's quite bright and it's lighter, way lighter than my skin so I, I'm a big fan of that so what I do is I just put it on my finger like so and then I just kind of I, I kind of even it out dot it out under the eyes which is where we always want it a bit more product there Dylan nose forehead 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 mm -hmm. and then I like to get just just here just here and then the other side just here then that's it let me get it by there a little bit of chin as well, why not? A little bit here. Just in the zones where you would usually contour. Dab this into the face. Dab it in. I'm sorry, I won't ever dab again. I'm gonna make a video, I promise. I always have to like push right in the crease of my nose because it, it, I always miss it. There's a reason I'm like, my nose line. I go out and I'm like, no one's told me I have a nose line. So I have to constantly try and get in there. Okay, so. We're concealed. We are concealed. We won't need the beauty blender anymore. Next thing I'm going to do is set this bad boy. So I've got this big old powder brush and this brush is really good. It costs me like £2 off the Wish app. Now sometimes the Wish app is really shit. But sometimes it can be really good. This is the good time where it's been good. So I had this off the Wish app. We're going to use this. We're going to use the Collection Press Powder. I don't go all out when it comes to setting powder because it's clear and they all do the same thing. They just they keep your makeup. They get rid of the fucking oiliness of the foundation or whatever and they just they just make you look nice and they also help you if you have any itches on your face because my god i'm itching all over the shop and i'm like mm, itch okay so we're set literally okay so next thing i do is bronzer now i like to get this one of these brushes it's my uh my rose brushes i have a few like a little collection of like flower brushes they're very cute so i get this rose brush uh, and I get this, look how battered this bronzer is. I've had this bronzer for many a millennia. It's so shit, it hasn't got lid anymore. <laughs> Where's the lid? Don't know, in the bin somewhere. So this is my bronzer, massive hole out of it. I'm not too sure, where's it for? It's Revolution, so, you know, that'll do. I have a hair on me and I don't want to scrape the makeup off. Yeah, yeah. What's happening here? Right, get this brush again. I kind of push it down so it's not so thick. So I push that down, I go around, get some powder, knock a bit off, and then I just, we layer it. We build we build up to it, build up to it. So I do cheekbones, because I don't have any, so I have to pretend that I do. And then I do kind of temple up towards the forehead and then top of the forehead line where the hairline meets. And then I like to get under here, get rid of that fucking double chin. No one wants to see that fucking double chin. And then I like to kind of connect it here because I don't like a block line. Like it's quite white there, so I don't like a block of white line, so we get rid of that. Okay, and then we are going to do some setting white powder and then redo the bronzer because I like to see where I'm going to do the line because sometimes I'll do it wrong and I'm like, there's too much white. So this is the Barry M <laughs> Ready Set Smooth White Powder. Sometimes I will use banana powder, but not always because it's kind of a bit yellowy sometimes. You have to kind of do it well and work with it well otherwise it just doesn't look that good so we do what so i like to use the little the little pad that comes with it i think it's really cute and what i do is just bleep, shake so then all the powder goes into the top of the thing and then i just there we go that's nice on the nose under here and then forehead okay so that's all the powder you used in the tub it goes fucking everywhere <laughs> we're gonna leave that to bake and while we're leaving that to bake we're gonna do some eyes and then we're going to use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette because I really like this palette um, it's big which is what I like about it like, it's massive and you get so many colors in it it's not the most pigmented palette I have like I think Anastasia's 
uh, Modern Renaissance palette is incredibly pigmented and you don't need a lot and you have to tap it off loads of times to get it. But this palette is it's good. It's not it's not bad. Now I'm gonna use this is my brush that I use for the like the base layer, the base colour. Um and it's bent. Look how bent it is. <laughs> because I, I cleaned them and then I wanted them to be to dry quicker, so I blow dried them all in a towel and then it just <laughs> morphed the plastic into these. And I haven't chucked them away yet because they work well. So I'm gonna get this top uh colour here. Top one. I actually don't know the names of them because it's not on the it's not on the bottom. And I chucked the bit of plastic away that comes with it. So we're gonna get that. We're gonna go from the eyebrow all the way down to the lid. It's just I like to do the same base colour on the whole thing. So eyebrow to lid. Okay, next we're gonna do is we're gonna get this Morphe M510 brush. Now when I first bought this, I thought that must be a highlighting brush because it's fucking huge. It's not, it's a blending brush. We get this colour here. Uh, and we are going to just go into the crease and let it kind of blend out up to the brow and down to the lid. Okay, so now we've got this colour in, which is kind of almost semi-base colour. It's like the base blending colour, so it's what you can see on the when you put more colours over the top of it. It's the this the second layer. Okay, so I'm gonna get my other Morphe brush, which is E28, uh, and I'm gonna take the, um, this one, this one here, this like yellowy colour in the pan, which I absolutely adore tap off the excess and we're going to go into the crease it's literally how we did last time but it's not as big the brush it's not going to get too much reach it's just going to kind of do another layer on top which is what i like i like to kind of like layer it down almost like shadowing um yeah and i do i'm i'm a big fan of the yellows at the moment I'm, i've gone into yellow and orange stage I actually bought a yellow fur <laughs> faux fur obviously but a yellow fur uh, the other day uh, looks like I've murdered Big Bird and is wearing his skin, but I absolutely love it and don't care. <laughs> okay, so we're creating a cool, sort of sunset-y look, I suppose, at the moment. Uh, I'm now going to take this this brush, this kind of shape brush. It's one of my Game of Thrones brushes, look at that. Stark. I've got a collection. Uh, I'm sure we'll see them every now and then, but this is one of them. Uh, and I'm going to take, I think, I don't know, this colour here. This, like, it's like a maroon kind of colour. Tap off the excess. And we're going to do out a corner, just into the middle a bit, out a corner into the middle, not all the way, we're not going to do the whole lid. Blend it up, blend it up, blend it up. That's not so harsh. That is harsh, <laughs> it's harsh there. Okay, so we've blended it up and then kind of down, but we've missed the inner lid because I like to put a shimmer on there. Why are you being so loud? Oh my God. Okay, now we're going to do exactly the same on the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so there we have the top bit so far. We're gonna add a shimmer to the inner bit because I just like a shimmer. I do, I like a little bit of sparkle in my life. We may even go full out and do a bit of glitter, but it's not, it seems a bit bougie for today. It's not the kind of look I wanna go for for today. So we're gonna get this palette that I can't find at the moment. We're gonna get this ColourPop pa palette. La 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 la. This ColourPop palette. Colourpop palette is a very hard thing to say. It's called Golden State of Mind and it's just for the shimmer colours. Um, so if you look, it's just all shimmers, just all shims. Uh, and I love them, I think they're all very pretty. So we're gonna pick some shims to do. I think I'm gonna go for this one here, which is called Pay the Piper, which is like this goldy one. Uh, so I'm gonna take a flat brush right here and I'm gonna get some setting spray on that to make it a bit damp because then the product sticks to it better and then it goes on your eye better as well. Just, it just, it looks better when it's a bit wet. <laughs> That's what she said. And we're gonna go from the inner corner to where the maroon kind of line meets. There we go, Shim, shimmy shammy. Okay, so there we go. We've got the top one done. We've got the top layer of our eyeballs done. So we're gonna do the bottom, which is, I'm gonna get a pencil brush, which is another Game of Thrones one. This is a Martell um, sign, the house symbol. I'm gonna go back into the Jack and Hill palette and I'm gonna use the purple, which is here. <laughs> so big, I can't hold it. <laughs> this one here, this purple, you see? I'm gonna get that one. I'm gonna put some on the pencil brush and I'm gonna go underneath with the purple. So we're just gonna underline the eyes with the purple. I like to get a darker color and put it kind of right on the line so it kind of it almost shadows it out. I found a palette that has purples on it, I didn't even know. It's, this, it's a revolution palette, it's called Give Them Darkness. I mean, yes, I love a bit of the darkness. So I'm going to take this dark purple colour, which again has no name, and I think it's because I chucked them away and they're on the bit of plastic. So I'm just going to go right, literally, oh yeah, that's beautiful, right on the line, yeah. 
That's it. That's the one. That's the winner. Right there. I never used that palette. I actually forgot I even had it. <laughs> Let's get rid of the bake because the bake needs to go. And also, it's quite good because when you brush off the bake, you brush off the, the, the eyeshadow that like falls out onto your face. So, brush off that bake. Brush off that bake. And then we're going to re-bronze because we haven't done the nose yet. Our piece of shit that we got here. The thing is, I love it and it works well for me and I haven't, I've still got product left so why the fuck would I buy a new one? Do you know what I'm saying? This is, this is makeup on a budget guys. We can't be, afford to be buying bronzers every time we lose the lid. Because I'll be fucking buying them every week. <laughs> okay then for the nose, I get this uh, contour brush, like this angled brush. And I like to just, I just dab it, I don't even rub. And then I'll get a tip, under the tip, just literally where my piercing would be and then I get like the rim, the edge of it, dab it in and then I kind of run it down. And I also like to bring it up to the brow because it kind of joins the contour in, otherwise you just kind of got like a block line. So if you bring it up and round, I enjoy to do that. Okay, so there's the contouring done. Uh, we're going under the chins, yeah, we're going under the chins. Actually, it might be a little harsh, let's just... If it gets too much, if it's too much bronzer, I always kind of just get my sponge again and just kind of tone it down a bit. Because sometimes I put too much on and I'm like, ugh, so I just get this sponge. Uh, now I'm going to do some blusher. Now all I have is just like a little collection soft glow brush. I love this colour. It's like a dusty, uh, dark pink. Uh, and then I get my blusher brush, dab it off. And I don't do too, I don't go too mental with it. I don't like a pink cheek that much. I kind of try and merge it in with the contour. And I don't, I don't like put it here. I know you should, but I kind of put it up on the cheekbone. Um, and I've started recently, I never used to do this, but I put like blusher on my nose, just at the end. I saw someone on Instagram doing it, and I thought it looked really cute. It's like a little pink nose. Next I'm gonna do eyebrows. I actually bought something today, which is new for me. Not new in general, but new for me. My sister was like, get this, it's really good. I was like, okay, so I've never tried this before. So this is gonna be like a first time me doing makeup tutorial and first time me using something. Now usually for brows, I will use the Wonder Brow if I have time and can be bothered because liquid can be a tricky master to master because it might just kind of go weird and you have to put loads of concealer on it to kind of sort it out. Sometimes it doesn't work very well. And if I am in a rush and really can't be bothered, then I will use the, look how shit this is. Like I've had this for yonks, mate. Like I don't even know how long I've had it. The, one of the, the fucking um, pans is gone. This one's like barely used and then my black one's like properly used. So I will get a angle brush and I will use the black eyeshadow to, you know, do my brows. But today we're gonna use this. So this has got like a pencil end. It's the NYX, um, it says NYX Micro Brow Pencil Crayon Micro Brow Pencil. It just repeats itself in black, noir. Uh, and my sister suggested it, so I'm gonna give it a go. So it comes with a little pencil tip end, really small. I don't know if you can see that, if my camera's not going to be a bitch. Really small end, and it also comes with a spoolie on this end. So we're going to spoolie out first. We're going to get them eyebrows to where we want them to be. <laughs> Again, this is the first time I've ever tried this. So let's just let's do it so we all can see. Let's just get a mirror in one of these palettes. Now, I like to go from the angle down and then the angle in. I don't start from the outside. I start from the angle. So we're just going to get this and just kind of map out our shape. See, I don't know how, I like an ombre, so I don't know how this is gonna work as an ombre on the end. Um, Cause normally, the Wonder Brow is quite good at it because you just use the, the, like, the excess product and with the, the shadow as well. So I may leave it like that and then use shadow for the end. So I'm gonna get my angle brush here, which again is another, it's a Lannister one this time. And then I've gotta get um, the shadow I've said and I'm just gonna, just gonna ombre the end because I feel like the pencil's not gonna be very good at doing it. I can't bother to take it all off. Oh well, I've just put a fucking big dollar of black on there, and I. God damn. Okay, there's one eyebrow. So that is using the new, for me, NYX uh, micro brow pencil, which isn't too bad, but I don't feel like it's good for ombreing if you like an ombre brow. <laughs> Pardon me. So then we're just gonna do the other eyebrow, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is both my eyebrows done. I'm gonna do a quick review on this. Now, I wouldn't, don't think I'd buy this again, purely because it's not as black as I like it to be. It kind of comes out like a, a gray, and then you have to go over it with something else. It's very good if you just wanna do a quick brow, 
Um, but I, I feel like I have more control of a brush and powder than I do with a pencil, um, as thin as it is. So it's good, it's eight pound, which isn't too expensive if you wanna, you know, on a budget, I'd suggest maybe getting a fucking two pound one from the collection. But if you can afford eight pound for this little pencil, then go for it. Like, it's not too bad. I just, it's, it's not for me. It's not for me, but you know, if I had nothing else, it'd be fine. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is mascara. Now, I use the Bad Girl Bang, uh, by Benefit, um, and I love the handle, it's so cute. I've recently got this, I used to use the Max Factor one, which is like the pink, I don't know, I'll put a picture of it so you know what I mean. This one here. Uh, I used to use that one and it was perfect for me. Uh, but then I, I kind of watched Jeffree Star and I was like, this one looks really good, so I bought the Bad Girl Bang one, but it's very, if you go over the top, it goes clumpy. You have to kind of know how to work with it and be quite sparing with it. Now, me and my sister have naturally long eyelashes thanks to our jeans. But yeah, it can go so clumpy so quickly. You have to be so careful with it. Um, otherwise, you'll just have a fucking mess. I've, I've had to, when I first got it, I had to take it all off and start again. So I was like, no, this is not working for me. Sorry, bye-bye. The top line, top lash. Now, yeah, it can, like, they're, they're very let's go to a club lash like mascara more than you know uh, kind of they're not subtle it's not subtle mascara but i don't fucking want subtle in my life so i don't give a shit i'm gonna do the other lash and then i'm gonna come back again okay mascara is done on both lashes as you can see we've been blessed and I appreciate it a lot. Now I forgot to do something because I normally use Wonder Brown, I don't need to use it, but I forgot to put on my gel overlay. Now this used to be clear, but when I put it over black shadow every day, it's gone gray, but it's still like a, a brow gel and it just kind of, it just, you know, sets your eyebrow hairs where they should be and doesn't make them stick up and go everywhere. And it also kind of keeps your shadow on for a bit as well. So brow gel on. Right, we've done mascara, we've done everything apart from highlight and lipstick because we're not doing lashes we might do we'll do a lash video one day but not today it's not this day it's not this day but it is not this day okay so i have many a highlight i kind of just went a bit mental one day and bought loads of highlights so i have the iconic drops which i don't find that easy to use i find powder so much easier because if you when you put it on it just kind of dries really quickly and you're like well i have three dots on my face now great i did buy the jeffree star platinum ice um highlight collection which don't get me wrong is an array of colors and i do appreciate it it is very pretty and they are nice but they're not very pigmented they don't kind of then i need bright in your face look at my highlight i'm gonna pierce your eyes with it but these aren't that good either like for that but, and the pink ice one, the bottom one, my favourite. I don't know if you can see. Eee, the focus is not very good. Yeah, it's very like a pinky frost kind of, like it's so nice, but it crumbles. The fallout is ridiculous. It goes everywhere. So we won't be using this one today, but I do love it and I'm glad I have it. The one we are going to be using, which is one of my favourite highlights I've ever bought. I've also had this for about 20 years, considering I might have got it when I was six. No, I'm joking. But this is my um, I Love Makeup Goddess of Love highlight now they do quite a few of these in different colors they're also the same people that make these palettes uh the ones that are like look like chocolate i have a, um, a white one and a, and a black chocolate one um so yeah they make those palettes so they make really cute looking things now it's like baked there's so much product in this i've had it for so long and i can't see pan and i haven't i don't think it's even gone down since i've had this so this is the highlight i'm going to use today you will see how good it is i'm just going to swatch it with my finger for a second and then if you just do this Seriously, it is, it's heavenly. It's so good on your cheeks that like it's literally so good. So we're gonna get my highlight brush, which is another Game of Thrones one, it's Targaryen, of course. So highlight brush, I like to kind of just run it across, tap the excess off, and you'll see this glow. This is like, oh, sickening, oh my God, sickening. I love it so much. So we do cheekbone to kind of represent we have it, temple, because apparently that's what you do. And then the other side, and then I'm gonna do tip of nose. Just, I just <laughs> waggle it on, keep it though. Chin, and then I like to get my finger and just kind of bridge of nose it as well. Okay, so we've done that. Highlight's done, last thing to do is lipstick. Now, I have so many, I never know what color to fucking do it every month. So, mm, I'm gonna use this one. It's called Kamadu. 
C A C no C M W A D U. Come on, do I bought it online? I just wanted it because it had a sugar skull on it, and I'm a big fan. And also the color is very pretty. It's number ninety. That's just no good known name, but um, I've had I've wear this before and it smells really good. And it lasts so long and it's not sticky. It, and yeah, it's long lasting. It's very pigmented as well. So let me just show you a little demo. There we go. And then we're just gonna do the rest. Okay. Lips are done. Final thing to make sure that this fucking creation that took me an hour stays on my face is setting spray, which I had out a second ago. Where the fuck is it gone? Okay, so I use the Revolution Pro Fix uh, setting spray. So what we're gonna do is just get a little shake of that and just set. <coughs> so I'm gonna do my hair, come back and show you the finished look. So BRB. Okay, so this is the finished look now. There will be some days where I decide to do eyeliner or I decide to do lashes, but today's not that day. Sometimes I just like a shadow without any of the stuff kind of looking at you in the face. So yeah, this is the finished look. Thank you so much for doing this with me today. I'm gonna to do more. I really enjoyed it. I like doing makeup and I like doing stories. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for coming to see me today. I really appreciate it. Please push all those lovely little buttons at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one. Bye, 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 bye. Ow, I forgot to set my piercing out. Oh God, there'll be days where I'll do my makeup and I'll get to work and be like, my nose is funny and I realise my piercing's not my nose. So yeah, we're out, the piercing's out, we're in, we're done.